one of the most surprising and beautiful pieces of the 1.20 features that have been released so far. The new Cherry Grove was added to Minecraft for 1.20 the past couple weeks. If we want to travel back and... Really, it's starting to rain now? Okay, apparently that's how it's going to go today. <laughs> if we want to travel back in time to the caves and cliffs reveal, the new Cherry Blossom Biomes is very reminiscent of those lush caves. Beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful. I love the lush caves. I am speechless here to say the least in the rain. In today's episode we are going to be reviewing the Cherry Grove, our Cherry Blossom new biome that was added to last week to Minecraft Bedrock and it's been the snapshots for a couple of weeks including the pink petals, the cherry leaves, the new particle effect you see here that has released so far for Bedrock and by the end of this episode you're going to know all there is to know about the cherry grove, the new cherry grove biome. Let's go. Hi, welcome to Cat Switch. Hope you're doing well and having a great day. Let's get going. To start, I think we need to start with the aesthetics, basically the way this looks. To say that it's groundbreaking and new in the overworld, especially to Minecraft, it just kind of blows me away. <laughs> Wow, this is just beautiful. It's not supposed to be found often near spawn, so we're gonna have to travel a bit to find it to the mountains and the meadows. That type of biome should allow for these new pink biomes to spawn. I think it's cool. They are announced it on Valentine's Day. I think that was a cool idea. Thank you, Mojang. It appears, if we look at it, to also be a tall tree. If you look at these oak trees in comparison, it just kind of dwarfs it. I don't know if this is just a theme or if my Mojang's trying to go with it so it's part of the new exploration like the camel or even horses like horses you know if I try to go through this uh, with a horse it just doesn't go as easily and this should be easily be able to be traversed uh, which is awesome let's just go ahead and check these out though compared to say like a spruce tree or an acacia tree so if we boom meal so that looks fairly similar in height and also now the cherry one kind of goes out and up a little bit more, whereas this one kind of goes up and out a little bit more. And then if we look over at the spruce tree, our traditional spruce tree. So if how do we find these biomes? That's going to be one of the one things we want to look at first. So, if we load into Minecraft, of course, the first thing we're going to want to do in survival is go explore, check out a look around, all that kind of fun stuff, and look, in this case, near the mountains and meadows. Is it near spawn? Nope. Is it 10,000 blocks away? Not necessarily. If I search using the slash locate, cherry, and this is what I tried at first, cherry and then like grove, yeah, er, that didn't work. If I do slash locate biome cherry grove, uh, that didn't work. Let's see what, uh, so let's locate biome cherry. The way to find it if you're in creative is cherry grove. And so that's what you search for, whereas Mojang is calling it a cherry blossom biome. And then you can find it. Thankfully for the devs, I must have missed it at first when I was looking uh, the first time. I'm, I must have missed it, as you saw. And I spent like 30 minutes looking for it. But wait a minute. I thought this was called a cherry blossom biome. So it's interesting that you to search for it, you do cherry grove. And but they're calling it a cherry blossom, so I wonder if they haven't finished, you know, kind of finalized on the name yet. If you like videos like these, please check out put this card on screen for some of my other videos like finding diamonds in the desert or the Mesa versus Badlands. So you can kind of check it out if you like it and want to support. Take care. Uh, so back to the cherry trees. Let's look at this cherry tastic video. So are these trees gonna be common? Are these new biomes gonna be common? If I'm trying to find an abandoned gold mine, for example, the first thing I'm gonna look for is on the surface, right? No, but if you're thinking about finding an abandoned mine shaft on the surface, unless you spawn in a mesa biome, good luck. So we're looking to find this new beautiful pink cherry blossom biome near spawn. According to Mojang and my sources, 
it's going to be considered rare and they're, that's most likely not going to happen. So the location. So yes, it's rare, which makes it special. So where do we find it? What are its coordinates? To find this new unique and first, the first of its kind, non green leaf kind of leaves on a tree, we're going to need to go to those rolling hills and mountains and into the grasslands and meadows. So it's basically found on the kind of the first level typically of the mountains. And so if we look, since we're in creative, we kind of see like it's the first level here, kind of the meadow, but it's also its own new mountain biome is awesome so what about the growth pattern so similar in design to the tree in the savanna biome you know the grove kind of or the chair grove kind of spreads out whereas the the acacia one kind of goes spreads out and a little bit more up so basically similar in design to these trees in the savanna biome is one comes down the valley and starts moving and then so we're down in the valley so coming up this hill here what do we see? Is that a pink cloud? Nope. It is the new cherry tree, which is awesome. So if we head over to our local biome depot and we shop for a few things. On today's shopping list, cherry blossom saplings. With the waterfall spread of new things coming to Minecraft, will Mojang continue the trend with the mangrove swamp and allow it to grow in water? That was one of the things I wanted to check out. Will this sapling grow in water? Nope. But that does. <laughs> So, yeah, so definitely that's still a, a special thing about the, the sapling. So what about this ground cover? So wait a minute. We have been going along and we, and what started in the nether, the flower petals and this particle effect. This is just beautiful to be able to walk around. It really does because it's these particle types effects other than the lush caves because, again, I'm kind of comparing this to lush caves, is that you only really see particle effects in the nether. And now they're slowly adding some of the cool things. I mean, this is beautiful. It's like raining petals. And then you get the flower petals here. And then bone meal. Uh, I see. Okay, it does grow. That's cool. So what about the wood? Finish up here. Oh, there it is. See it through the trees and the chicken. These just dwarf these other trees, these big massive cherry trees. So we can see that it is now the lightest and darkest wood type in the game. So if we look at it compared to the dark oak, it is not, you know, there's nothing compared. That is way darker than that. And then if we then, well, pretty and light. So it's like both at the same time, light and dark, which is awesome. We also get planks and doors and trap doors and also slabs because that's what the roof is made out of. And so it is a beautiful new wood type for building out a house here. And it's just gorgeous. So if you're interested in learning about, check out my lore series where I talk about different types of biomes and do a biome review like this and hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye.